there's no time like the present. Most people in our culture today are so busy running around trying to arrange their lives to be somewhere else. We all want to be somewhere else geographically or financially or in our relationships. We want to be anywhere, but here is we've been led to believe that if only we can be somewhere else then our lives would work. This escapism acts like a drug that only gives temporary relief to a chronic problem. Apart from wanting to be somewhere else, most people today also live by a philosophy of someday that allows them to manipulate time. I can do it, but just not today. I'll do it when, and they use these excuses to stay in their comfort zones. The problem is that both someday and somewhere are undefined and illusionary. Somewhere does not exist and someday never comes, although you keep hoping that it does. This can be very disempowering and is responsible for a lot of disappointment and frustration for a lot of people. Yesterday is history. Tomorrow is a mystery. Today is a gift. That's why we call it the present Eleanor Roosevelt. The truth, however, is that right now is all you've really got. Tomorrow is never promised to you and learning to fully live in and for the moment is a vital distinction to make in creating a great life. Being grateful does not mean that you lose your drive or purpose, but allows you to slow down and really enjoy the ride. Not only is it healthy to want more from life, but it is also required to be truly fulfilled and knowing where you are is critical in getting where you want to be. Using someday as an excuse to soften your problems will not create long-term success and fulfillment. Be honest with yourself and stop making excuses only to make yourself feel better. There's always one small step you can take. One of the most powerful resources you have is resourcefulness. This means that right now you have all that you need to achieve whatever you desire and that you have the ability to take action with exactly what you've got and exactly where you are. You do not have to wait for some day when or when I am before you take action on your dreams and goals. The smallest idea acted upon can make all the difference as it immediately makes your idea real and smothers someday because you used your will to consciously take charge. It is important to realize that the purpose of pursuing a goal or a dream is not just in achieving it but even more so in the experience of achieving it. You do not travel for the purpose of reaching a destination but for the purpose of traveling. Whatever dream or goal you are pursuing you will probably spend more time in pursuit of it than actually achieving it and most goals are an anticlimax when you actually achieve them anyway. The process is where the true fulfillment comes from and the actual experience is what makes you become something instead of accumulating something. If you can't be happy and grateful without your goal then changes are that you won't be happy and grateful with it. Live in the present, but know where you are going. Be right here and celebrate and capture the magical moments of your life. Hold on to them as the treasures you get to take with you into your magnificent future. Life is not just lived in the moment but also created in the moment. Now is the best time to design the next 10 years of your life. Let your thoughts and knowledge serve you through action. Action is what eventually determines your destiny. Move confidently in the direction of your choosing and don't get seduced by the popular belief that someday things will come your way or someday your luck will change. You are the source and the creator of your own prosperity and it all starts with a sense of immense gratitude for everything you already have exactly where you are right now. One of the greatest privileges you have in life is that you can start right now with exactly what you've got to create anything you desire as the ultimate resources to life are within you. Living in a place called somewhere really won't serve you long term although it might feel good as a short term escape or excuse. Having to constantly lie to yourself that you will act on your true desires someday when X, Y, or Z is just right will only create an unnecessary burden. When you turn your someday philosophy into a same-day philosophy you can start to adopt the mindset where you take action on your ideas immediately with exactly what you've got and exactly where you are. What someday and somewhere really comes down to is that you falsely admit to yourself that what you need is not available to you. This creates a belief that you are not in control of your life but that you are waiting for something else somewhere else before you can take charge. 
Ironically, you will only get full access to your true resources when you take action exactly where you are with exactly what you've got, despite your excuses. True happiness and gratitude never relies on external conditions but is purely determined by your evaluation of where you are now. Now contains the seed of the rest of your life. Plant it with joy and water it with gratitude and rejoice in your life for you are its creator. Enjoy! There is no time like the present.